Over the past few days, I've been working on some real intricate and time-consuming animations. So this weekend, I decided to take a break and try something a little more relaxed and fun. That's when I remembered this amazing website I had bookmarked from Godly. It had been sitting on my to-do list for a while, so I finally took the time to explore it again. A few months ago, they built this interactive landing page with floating video elements, but what really caught my eye was the page reveal animation. The clip path based counter effect looked super cool and honestly a bit challenging at first. So I spent a few hours this weekend recreating that stunning loading animation where the numbers animate seamlessly through a clip mask followed by an amazing star shaped reveal. In today's video, I'll show you exactly how you can achieve the same effect for your landing page using CSS clip path, JavaScript and GSAP. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if you'd like to access the source code, you can check out the pro membership via the link in the description. All right, let's jump straight into the code. To start, we'll need two main wrappers. One for the loader, which acts as the loading overlay and another for the container, which holds the underlying website content. Inside the loader, we'll include five key elements, two counter wrappers, one for each digit and three revealers, each with a unique class. These revealers will contain the SVG for the star shape. In each counter wrapper, we'll add an SR wrapper called count, which will animate along the x-axis using GSAP to create the number transition effect. You can include as many digits as you like, but for this tutorial, we'll use six digits. These digits will represent the first number of the counter, moving in reverse order. For the second counter wrapper, we'll use the same structure but with a different set of numbers. To give you some context, the first counter wrapper represents the first digit of each count while the second counter handles the second digit. Both counters will move from the last digit to the first. For example, the last digits in both wrappers are 0, forming the starting number 00, while the first digits are 9, forming the final number 99. For now, we are using fixed numbers to focus on the animation logic, but you can later enhance it by introducing randomized number generation for a more dynamic effect. Next, I'll add the SVG for the star shape in each reveler. I found this shape in Figma's community resources, but you can use any shape you prefer. After adding the SVGs, I'll customize the fill colors making the middle one green and the last one black to match the background of the container. Finally, inside the container will include three elements, the site info, the toggle icon and the header. The site info contains two line divs, each wrapping a paragraph element. These lines will help us create the text reveal animation. Next, the toggle button will hold an image of the star shape to match the aesthetic of the original website. And lastly, the header which is a simple h1 element with some placeholder text. And that's it for the HTML structure, let's move on to styling now. First, we'll set up some global styles to reset default margins and paddings. We'll also ensure the box sizing is set to border box for all elements. For the HTML and body, we'll set their width and height to fill the viewport and apply a custom font. The background will be black and the text color will be white to match the overall design aesthetic. Images will be styled to cover their containers completely with object fit cover, ensuring the scale proportionally within their bounds. Now for the loader, it's positioned as fixed to cover the entire viewport. It will have a black background and white text and will use flexbox for alignment, placing its children at the bottom of the viewport. To ensure a clean animation environment, we'll hide any overflow. The count wrapper is styled as a relative container with a defined width and height. We'll use a clip path to define its shape as a rectangle which will help achieve the number revealing animation. Additionally, we'll add the will change property to optimize animations for performance. Inside the count wrapper, we have the count container, 
It's horizontally scrollable flex box with its width set to fit all the digits allowing us to animate it along x-axis for the number transition effect. Each digit inside the count is styled relatively and sized consistently to fit within the wrapper. For the digit text, the H1 is centered absolutely, styled with a large font size and lighter font weight to create an impactful look. Next, the revealer elements are positioned absolutely in the center of the viewport using a transform. These will hold the star shaped SVGs and play a key role in the revel animation. Moving on to the container, it's styled as a relative full screen container with overflow hidden to ensure no elements spill outside the viewport. This site info is positioned in the top left corner and styled as a vertical flex box with a small gap between its styled elements. Each line inside the site info is clipped using a clip path and has a height defined to control its animation visibility. The paragraph elements are styled with a clean minimal font, slight opacity and smooth font rendering. For the toggle button, we position it in the top right corner as a circular button with a white background. Initially, it's scaled down to zero, ready for animation. The button contains an image, which is scaled down further to fit within the circular button. Finally, we'll style the header as an absolute element placed at the bottom left of the container. It uses a 3D perspective to create a dramatic rotated effect. The H1 inside the header is styled with a massive font size, lightweight, and precise letter spacing. Its initial state includes rotation along the y-axis and an opacity of 0, setting it perfectly for the animations. And that's it for the CSS setup. Next, we'll dive into the animations to bring all this to life. Once the DOM is fully loaded, we'll start by setting up some variables. We'll start by calculating the key distances for the animation. First, window width stores the width of the browser window and wrapper width set to 180 pixels represents the width of each counter wrapper. The final position is calculated as the difference between the window width and the wrapper width. This gives us the total distance the counters will move horizontally. To break this into steps, we divide the final position by 6, storing the result into step distance. This ensures the movement is evenly distributed across the 6 digits in the counter. Next, we'll build the timeline to animate these movements. The first step is to move the count element horizontally by 900 pixels to the left. This creates the initial motion of the counter. The movement takes 0.85 seconds, has a slight delay of 0.5 seconds and uses a smooth easing effect with power 4 for a polished transition. Now we loop through 6 steps, one for each count in the counter. For each iteration, we calculate the new position of the count using X position which offsets by 180 pixels for every step. This keeps the digits aligned as the transition. We then update the count element's horizontal position to the calculated X position. Each transition lasts 0.85 seconds with the same smooth easing effect. Finally, we use the onStart callback at the end of the animation step to synchronize the movement of the count wrapper. The count wrapper moves by a distance proportional to the current step using the step distance value we calculated earlier. This ensures the wrapper follows the same motion logic as the digits, keeping everything in sync. By the end of the loop, the entire counter smoothly animates through all six digits while maintaining the perfect alignment between the numbers and the wrappers. 
Now let's handle the animations for the reveler SVGs. We start by setting the initial scale of all reveal SVG elements to 0. Next, we define an array of delays. These values control when each SVG animation starts, creating a staggered refill effect. Then we loop through all the SVG elements. For each element, we animate its scale property to a value of 45, making it expand dramatically. The animation takes 1.5 seconds and begins after the specified delay for each SVG. Finally, we use the onComplete callback to check if the current SVG is the last one in the sequence. When the final SVG animation finishes, we remove the loader from the DOM, transitioning to the main content. Finally, let's animate the header and the other container elements. We begin by animating the header H1. Its rotate Y property is set to 0, bringing it to a flat, front-facing position. Simultaneously, its opacity transitions to 1, making it fully visible. We also introduce a delay of 8 seconds to ensure it appears at the right moment after the earlier animations have completed. Within the same animation block, we use the onStart callback to trigger two additional animations. First, we animate the toggle button, scaling it up to its full size. Next, we animate the text inside each line. These paragraphs move upward from their initial positions with their Y value transitioning to zero. The animation includes a staggered delay between each line, adding a dynamic effect. With this, all animations are complete. Hope you found the video helpful. See you in the next one.